Hello and welcome to um, JHEP's lesson on the properties of alcohol suitable for OCR and NXL. Uh, AQA is a bit more complicated than this topic um, and WAGEC I am not really sure. Um, Salters, you are welcome to have a look at this as well. Um, you may come across a few definitions like um, nomenclature which you haven't really come across in school for OCR candidates. Um, but nomenclature is just basically the um, systematic way of naming all these different organic chemical compounds. And this organization called the IUPAC, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, um, just basically uh, is in charge of how we write, how we read certain compounds. So, moving on. Um, the first thing you need to know about alcohols is that they all have um, hydroxyl groups and these hydroxyl groups are the OHs, okay? This is not called the alcohol group, this is called the hydroxyl group. So for example, if we had propan 2 o um, it would look something like this. This is the, um, this is the skeletal formula. Um, if you want to draw the displayed formula, it would look like one, two, three with a OH here. Okay, and obviously the hydrogen all around it. Um, so that is propan 2 -ol. As you noticed, if I write it down, propan 2 -ol, uh, you can see that this hydroxyl group is on the second carbon. That's why it's 2 ol, okay? And the IUPAC states that we should always put the hydroxyl group, the um, suffix for it, at the end of the compound. So um, if I have another one, like butan 1 ol, it would look like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we've got OH over here. Um, this, is the, um, this is the hydroxyl group and uh, it's on the first carbon over here. So it'll be butan 1 O. Be careful not to write butanol because um, butanol meaning it can mean that the hydroxyl group could be anywhere. And we've got the last one, um, just give you another one, is 3 methyl hexan 3 O. It sounds like a mouthful, but it's really not that hard. Um, if I draw it now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oops, sorry, my bad. Um, uh, the night, the best way of drawing this is to literally one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, is to literally look at the suffix, look at the second half of the word. It says hexan, so there needs to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The an um, states that it's an alkane, um, so there are no double bonds, and we've got. I should really write it down. 3-methyl-hexan-3-ol. You can buy this as well, by the way. You, you didn't know that, but you can buy 3-methyl-hexan-3-ol in chemical stores and everything. And um, we have CH3 over here. And we've got the OH group over here, okay? Because they're on the third carbon. Um, I went from left to right, but it really doesn't matter. But... Um, you have just got to be consistent with the order in which you're counting um, you're counting the groups, okay? So, moving on. Boiling points. Alcohols have relatively strong hydrogen bonds. As you may recognise through Unit 1 for OCR candidates, um, I'm not sure for Excel just yet, um, we noticed that hydrogen bonding is actually relatively strong in terms of the intermolecular forces and the van der Waals forces and the permanent dipole to di you know, and dipole to dipole interactions. So um, because of this, we have a pretty strong, um, we've got a pretty strong molecule together, holding it together. And the boiling points of these will be relatively higher than if it were just alkanes. So, for example, for this al um, for this alcohol over here, if it were just one, two, three, that'll be propan um, yeah, um, propa pro <sighs> If it were just propane, sorry, I just had a little. 
additive there. It was propane, and it was it was joined to another propane using the Van der Waals forces. The boiling points would not be as high as the alcohol, just due to this um, hydrogen bonding going on here. And as you may know, the hydrogen bonding, the hydrogen bonds occur between the oxygen which has got two lone pairs as you can see by those two little dots and the hydrogen um, which is also delta positive and that's also delta negative um, if you don't know about electronegativity i'd suggest you go back to um, hydrogen bonds in the earlier videos um, but a quick overview is that the electrons which are shared between the oxygen and the hydrogen the electrons are more over to the oxygen than it is to the hydrogen that's why this is more negative and this is more positive. Um, and when you're drawing it, be sure to draw the lines from the lone pair to the hydrogen and make sure that it is a straight 180 degree angle, as you can see right there. So the more hydrogen bonds present in a molecule, the lower the volatility. So um, the, volatil the volatility is just basically how easy it is to evaporate into a gas how easy it is for the liquid to evaporate into a gas and um, basically if the volatility is lower that means it will be harder to turn the liquid into a gas therefore we need more energy in terms of temperature we need more temperature to boil it off okay meaning the higher the boiling points of it um, last thing uh, for this is that the alcohols dissolve in water due to the hydroxyl groups um, and the hydrogen bonds that they form between that and the water. So pretend, I'm just going to rub this all off, all that hard work done. So pretend that this was, this was water. Um, just change that into a no right there. Okay. Um, because of this hydrogen bonding, we've got these two polar, um, these two polar atoms and well, they just do exactly the same for um, for butanol as with the water. So they attach the water, basically. Um, the next thing is that the general rule of thumb is the more carbons in the molecule of this of this alcohol, the larger the boiling point and the higher the enthalpy change, um, the enthalpy change of combustion is under standard conditions. You may not know what enthalpy change of combustion in standard conditions is just yet, but don't worry about it just yet. All you just need to know is that the more carbon atoms in the molecule, the higher both of these will be. So if you go back to um, the three types that we were busy um, that we labelled here. Uh, I'm going to write um, butan 1 or If I draw it right here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, 1, 2, 3, 4, OH. As you can see, this, you may not know, but this is a primary alcohol. And if we just draw it, um, if we draw it as the displayed formula, 1, 2, 3, 4 butan 1 o if we draw this as the displayed form i'm not going to draw the hydrogen because that's a bit too long um you can see over here that this has got one alkyl group attached to the carbon which the which the oh is attached to so in layman's terms or in other words in chemistry for dummies terms an alkyl group is an alkane with one less hydrogen uh, one less hydrogen atom okay so this should use this should have C, um, c4h10 so this should have 10 hydrogen atoms and it's actually got one two three four five six seven eight nine okay we're not counting this one so, even still, we don't even count the hydrogens over here. We just use the carbons here and the hydrogens there. So, there's three carbons here, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hydrogens here. That means 
that it's actually missing one hydrogen. So this is an alkyl group. This is one alkyl group. And this is what makes it a primary alcohol because this carbon is attached to an alcohol and it's attached to one alkyl group. There can be three alkyl groups, um, up to three alkyl groups. But um, what you just need to know also is that you can oxidize these alcohols to make aldehydes, um, which have the suffix al, al. And then you can um, you can oxidize that even further to make a, um, a carboxylic acid as well. Um, if you want to learn more about that, which you do need to learn anyways for OCR um, at least, um, and Edexcel, please look at uh, please look at the video changing alcohols. I think I'm not sure. I haven't made that video just yet. Um, so if you notice, if we move on to the secondary alcohols. Um, we have propantuol. Propantuol. We can see that it's one. Oh wait, so yeah, propantuol. One, two, three. We got the OH here. If we draw it as a displayed formula, which would would be pretty good. We have an OH here. Hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. We can see that we've got two alkyl groups attached to the carbon which the OH is attached to. Okay, so if we look over here, this should usually have four. Um, this should usually this should this should usually have four hydrogens, and as you can see, it doesn't. So this should be CH4 because the um, the general formula for an alkane is CnH2n plus 2. So with every one carbon, there should be four hydrogens attached to it. Since there's only three, this is a alkyl and um, this is an alkyl group. This is also an alkyl group because of the reason that we just said. So there's two one two alkyl groups attached to this carbon which the um the oxygen uh, the alcohol is the hydroxyl group is attached to sorry but these secondary alcohols can be oxidized to make ketones and those are also um those are also secondary you will learn about that with making alcohols again the last one is the tertiary alcohols you may have guessed that three alkyl groups can be attached to um carbon so, if we use what we used before, if we use 3 methyl hexan 3 ol I'm just going to write it here so I won't remember it, so I won't forget it. 3 methyl hexan 3 ol and we have C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, because I use hexan, I know this is an alkane. Then we've got 3 methyl, so 1, 2, 3. CH3 or if you even if you wanted to we could have done one two three it's up to you we can name it going forwards or backwards um whichever one's the simplest which one one's the easiest whichever one gets us the lowest number and we got three all so one two three OH now if I just label one da 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 as you can see this carbon, which is attached to the hydroxyl group, has got one alkyl group because this is this should be CH four, but it's CH three. It's got another alkyl group because this is this is C three H seven, and it should be C three H eight. Okay, because of the um, because of the general formula and this is another alkyl group because this should be C2H um, C2H6 but it's actually C2H5 so we've got three alkyl groups which is attached to the carbon which is attached to the hydroxyl group and um, for reasons that you learn in making alcohol um, in changing alcohols the tertiary alcohols cannot oxidize any further you can break it down with um, with with 
well with time to make ketones as such but we cannot oxidize it further and that is it for alcohols <laughs> yes that is it